This is my baby boy. This is Aiden Eli. Aiden Eli Burt. Yeah, that's right. There's another Burt on the world. Hey, buddy, you see that? That's a camera. He's all like, hello. My name is Aiden. Will you be a YouTuber later down the line, you think? He might be smart like mama. I hope you're smart. So you can get all good grades and then you can go to a good school and take care of me and mama when we're old. He is fascinated with this camera. Yep. This is my son. <laughs> you just ate, so I'm sure he's getting really tired. So we're going to go put him down with mama. If he'll let go. Oh, he's so strong. Why are you so strong? <laughs> it's crazy. It really is that I now have, uh, I have a son. It's strange and it's awesome. It's exciting and I wish the world wasn't the way the world was right now, but it's just the way it is and it's, you know, I'm glad he's here. I'm glad he's healthy. I'm glad Courtney's doing well. I'm glad she's healthy. I'm mentally healthy. So yay, that is my baby boy Aiden. And I'm so happy to have him here in my life. I'm going to just kind of give you guys a brief rundown on the whole day of his birth. Because it was interesting. Because obviously we're dealing with that whole corona situation. The hospitals were a little uh, locked down. The front door to the hospital was actually locked. We had to go through the ER and get these uh, bands that said, we're good, we're clear. And me and Courtney both got one of those bands and we were we were screened and we uh, did not test positive for the coronavirus so yay happy days then we went upstairs got all that situated then it turned into the time for the epidural well she didn't get an epidural she got a spinal and uh, yeah I wasn't allowed to be in the room when this happened it was actually really concerning because I had actually heard this day that a lot of hospitals across the country and maybe even across the world were not allowing the significant other to even be in the room when the baby was born. So I was getting really nervous when they told me I wasn't even allowed to be there for the epidural. Spinal. Sorry. Same thing. They shoot you in the back of the spine and they, you know, make you numb from the waist down. Hopefully. And if things go wrong, then your arms and your legs get numb. So that would not be fun. But luckily everything went well and it was just from her waist down. And uh, yeah, while I was waiting to have that procedure done, I was told to sit at the nurse's booth. So I was sitting there just kind of waiting and then I looked over and I saw that her actual hospital room had a window. So I walked over to the window. I didn't know if I was supposed to be doing this or not, but I wanted to be there. So when she looked up, I hoped that she would see the window and she did. So I was just wanting to be there for as much moral support as I could. I was very fortunate that that window was there. What I didn't realize was I was standing in front of the sink that uh, the person that would be delivering my baby, the doctor that we had been working with for the last few months, he was like, hey, you're standing in front of the sink. So I moved out of the way a little bit and just kept looking out the window. He's like, you're fine where you are. Just let me wash my hands. I have never seen someone wash their hands better in my entire life. And I know I've never washed my hands even remotely as good as I watched this doctor wash his hands. He had like this sponge that had like alcohol and some sort of chemical in it because it smelled strong. And he washed from his elbow all the way up and he just scrubbed. It was like two, three minutes of just washing his hands. I was like, okay, I feel pretty confident with you going into, uh, you know, my girlfriend's tummy. So I was very happy to see that and it felt really good to see him be as clean as he is. I mean, obviously he's a doctor, he, he knows what he's doing. But then he went in, he talked with Courtney and so did the anesthesiologist and some of the nurses talked with Courtney and I felt bad because I could see she was a little panicked because of the spinal. Everything went fine. Uh, the anesthesiologist finally did give me the wave. He was like, come on in. I was like, yes, I'm gonna be able to be there for the birth of my son. I was just so nervous that it wasn't gonna happen. I was gonna be watching the birth of my son from a window. Or worse, from another room, because maybe they would have been like, hey, you gotta go, you gotta move on. But I was allowed to be there. I sat next to Courtney and we went to work. Uh, yeah, she was a little panicked because obviously your body is not being in the position and it's not doing what you're used to. You know, she couldn't feel her legs, but I was there and I was holding her hand and I was patting her on the head and I was telling her I love her. And I, I just, I kept kissing her on the forehead and I just told her how strong and amazing and wonderful and powerful she is. 
And she was just like, all right, shut up. <laughs> I just need you to be quiet and just be here and pat my head and hold my hand. And I was like, okay, but that's as mean as she got. So I'm so happy that it wasn't like a scream or something like that because I heard some other people in the hospital giving birth and I mean, there was some screaming here, there and everywhere. But Courtney, she handled it like a champ. So it was really awesome to be there and just hold her hand while she, you know, sat there and, you know, sacrificed her body for us to have a child. So I love her to death and I love Aiden to death. Aiden is so beautiful. I actually was able to stand up and watch the procedure for a little bit and I actually watched them pull him straight out. I actually got photos, but I'm not gonna show you guys those photos. That was just for me and Courtney and maybe any family members that wanna see it. But yeah, I, I took photos of them literally pulling him straight out. I watched them cut the umbilical cord. I didn't get the chance to cut the umbilical cord. I thought that was something that they were gonna be like, all right, dad, you wanna do this? But no, uh, they cut it and I was like, oh, okay, well, there goes that, but that's fine. I'm just glad I was able to be there for the birth of my son, especially in this really tough time. I am so fortunate to have an amazing family now. I have a son, I have a son named Aiden Eli Burt. We signed the birth certificates, everything was healthy. He has a little bit of jaundice, but basically every baby when they're born has a little bit of jaundice. And other than that, he's great. He's super healthy, he's super happy. Um, he sneezes all the time, super adorable, and he gets the hiccups a lot because he likes to chug formula. He gets those little air bubbles in with his milk and he gets the hiccups and it's the cutest thing ever, but I'm like, dude, you gotta slow down. He's eating just like his daddy. He just wants to get it down. Me and him are both a little gluttonous, so I hate that. But hopefully he'll figure out I need to slow down so I stop uh, hiccuping because it's cute, but I know it's probably not fun for him. But yeah, we stayed in the hospital for right about 36 hours. That's actually a lot quicker of a uh, discharge than usual. But we wanted to get out of that hospital and we got out of that hospital fast. So we were very happy to get in and get out. You know, this whole Corona situation has been kind of tough. Uh, luckily, uh, Courtney's parents have been able to meet Aiden. My parents, however, have not been able to meet Aiden. They're in Alabama. And with everything being the way it is, they really haven't been able to get out and see him. So that's upsetting. I know they'll be able to meet him eventually. So that's all that matters to me. And uh, I've been able to FaceTime them, so I'm, I'm very happy that they were able to see uh, their first uh, grandchild. Video is very, very special, and I'm glad it's there so my parents could meet Aiden, in a sense, until they actually get to meet him when he's a little older, and maybe he'll be able to have a little more head, you know, mobility, because, you know, he, he's always, like, looking for formula, and he's just like... Oh. And he just, uh, the head just falls. It's adorable. But I'm like, dude, dude, dude. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Because he's just like, oh, where's that formula? I'm so hungry. And I'm like, dude, we fed you so much. We, we are feeding him more than even the doctors are like, hey, you don't need to feed him more than this. We feed him just a little bit more than that. And he's like, I need more food. He is growing so fast. And it's amazing to see where he's come from the day of his birth, which was uh, last Tuesday. So yeah, he is a week old now. That is insane that he's already a week old. And I'm just trying to just hold on to these memories for later down the line when he's older and he's, you know, screaming at me, Dad, I don't love you anymore. God, why do you got to be like that? I want to be able to just look back on these little itty bitty memories of me holding him in my hands and just being like, that's cool. That's cool that you don't love me. And I'll, I'll be able to use that excuse like, well, I changed your diapers and I wiped poop off your butt, so you better obey me. Because, well, who doesn't want to be able to do that to their child? But guys, I hope you were able to enjoy this short video and some photos and some footage that I've laid over this video. Um, I'm very blessed. I don't say that often, but I am significantly blessed. I have amazing uh, friends, family, uh, loved ones. And uh, Courtney and Aiden and Joven are my life now. So I'm, I'm very fortunate to have them. And I'm very fortunate to have a family. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. And if you want to see more photos, please follow me on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I try to post as much as I can over there. I hope I'm not spamming you guys with baby photos too much. When you guys have a child, you will understand. Because I used to actually be annoyed when people spammed baby photos. I was like, dude... Come on, I don't want to see this all the time, but you'll understand.
you'll get it. You're very proud of what you've been able to accomplish. You accomplished life. You have a little mini me now and you just want to be like, look world, look what I made. <laughs> All right. I'm babbling. Bye guys.